wouldn't it be nice if just every green screen you are working with would be perfectly just green just no shadows just perfectly lit so you can easily remove it with one click yes it would be nice but that's not the reality we live in because a lot of footage out there especially when i shoot it looks pretty bad it's very difficult to key and i do get the question a lot how do you key such terrible green screen out so you can use it for your 3d scenes and i'm going to show you how today I have a particular bad example today where it was very difficult to key this out and I'm gonna show you how I did it and for you so you can also work with the same footage I'm gonna put a link into the description so you can download it to experiment with that but what I would actually prefer is if you had your own footage because then you can make your own little cool scene so but it really is up to you just a reminder, usually I don't give out my files for free. Usually it's only for my Patreons and my YouTube members. So if you want all of my files, all of my footage and all of my stuff, just sign up for my Patreon or YouTube membership, then you can have it all. Anyways, we're gonna work with this video today and we are working in After Effects, but you can use any kind of compositing software. It will not work with editing software though. For that, it's just too advanced what we're doing here today. So this is the clip we're working with and you can see it is all right around my shoulder area and back here. The green screen is not too bad, but down here you can see like this is like way brighter, this is way darker and we have all those little shadows here. Terrible job on a green screen, but I did all of this so I could actually make a tutorial on how you can make a scene like this still work. So. Let's get started. So I'm just gonna make a new composition. I'm gonna cut it short to the moment where I actually need it, starting here. Now let's actually see how terrible the keyer would work. I do that by duplicating my footage, by, by holding Control D. Now I have the video layer two times on top of each other. I'm gonna mute the lower layer with its eyedropper here. Just turn it off. Now when I turn this one off, I don't see anything so I only have one video right now. Now I'm gonna right click it, go on effect, keying and key light 1.2. Now I'm just gonna use the dropper tool and pick whatever green I think is all right. I'm just gonna pick that one here. Okay, this is what my keyer does and it's not a great result, is it? Even if that wasn't in the shot, you can see how grainy my footage is. Even if I increase the gain it just doesn't look right it's basically impossible to make this look good even when i go to my screen mat method you can see everything what is black is going to be transparent everything what is white is visible so when i go on screen mat i can adjust the colors individually so even if i crank it to the max it's not looking too good for us like even if i almost have those two numbers aligned like this is the closest i can go and now if i use this lower mask how i usually do it as a track mat this is pretty good and that's how i usually would do it but it's not perfect let me increase the softness a little increase those two numbers a little and it's actually not terrible it's not perfect you can see those spots here but if you wanted to work with that that wouldn't be too terrible but I'm gonna show you what the problem with this footage is when I play it you can see that I have this police light going on so my green shape changes through the entire video and that way the math is just not gonna work it might work for every other frame but not throughout impossible to key that's why I'm gonna show you a different method how you can key your green screen footage. Let's delete this, let's delete that. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use the rotor brush tool in After Effects to key myself out by hand. And for a shot like this, just always be mindful of your character's movements because they can make things a lot easier too. So I'm gonna select my rotor brush tool on the top here double click on my video and now i can just start painting very roughly what i want to key out which is obviously my person if i if it's selected parts i don't want to rotoscope 
just hold Alt on your keyboard and draw the negative spaces or everything you don't want. Just draw in there and it's gonna key it back out or in. And you have to be very thorough in your job. Make sure that you do a very good job. Otherwise, if you don't, you're gonna see it later that it's not perfect. So pay particular attention to all those edges. If you have hair, it's way more difficult. That's why I put the hoodie on too. So I don't have to do that to myself. But hair is very difficult and you can see where it actually recognizes the green. For example, my pants are green too. Stupid decision if you do green screen. But of course I did this on purpose so I can show you that even if you make those mistakes or if you get those bad green screen videos, that you still can save it. Now, I think I did a pretty good job keying this first frame out. And now when I hold control and arrow right, I can go frame by frame through my video and see even if the even when the lighting changes to the red color because the, the police light, even then it mostly recognizes what I want to rotoscope. But that's why it's important to go through it frame by frame, at least at first, so you can make sure it all it's all rotoscoped out properly. Here you can see a jump like this can happen. So just make sure to correct it. So it's not going to do this jump anymore. And again, just go through it frame by frame. And when you believe, even with your character's movements, that it rotoscopes it pretty well, just hit the space bar on your keyboard and it's just going to going to play it through automatically and just have an eye on all the edges and what's happening. For example, this one in particular, this spot here is doing a lot of back and forth. I don't like how it's cut out, but we're gonna find a way to fix that later. Okay, once you're through it, you can see it's it's very well cut out. So when I go back to my regular view, you can see, oh, the background is actually gone now. And you can also see like problems like here might appear, and then you can just double click it back and, and fix those few frames go back to your original video and just go through it and make sure that those mistakes that you clean them out and like I said usually that kind of stuff shouldn't happen but I do have this police lighting which is gonna make a key like this way way harder great now that this is this part is done it looks pretty good and that's basically the part where I actually but if you do want to fix all this issue without going in there frame by frame I'm gonna show you a different way to do that so I'm going to duplicate my video with control D and I'm gonna delete the rotor brush tool on the top one now instead of using the rotor brush tool there's other ways to mask something so we had the key here the green screen color key we used that first now we use the rotor brush tool, but now you're gonna use the fastest way of masking something, the pen tool. And with that, I can just draw my own mask around the problematic areas, which is like around here. And I'm just making sure that this is on top of my rotor brush. You probably wouldn't see much difference, but now that I have this layer, which is just this part here on top of the rotor brush, now it's not going to be as obvious that this is a problematic area. If you still see it like I, I see right now, just make this mask a little further out this way wherever you're not going to see it anymore. Now it just looks like a part of my foot or something. Hoping that people are not going to look at it that closely. But also, you've heard me talk about using green screen footage in your blender scenes and I always recommend covering up the contact point to the ground anyways. But that's basically it. If you're happy with your result, just go on composition, pre-render, and one more thing to be mindful of, under the output, you need to go on your render settings and under format options, select Apple ProRes 4444 because only then you get the option to render RGB and alpha, which is very important in order to render out a transparent background. Either that or a PNG sequence would do too. And once it's fully rendered, you can just add this 
as a 2D plane into your green screen scene just like that and again I recommend placing some kind of objects in front of your feet so you don't see the contact point at all because that always gives it away and here you can also see the reason why I had this police light on because I wanted to add something like that in my 3D scene too it, it always sells better if you have practical lights shining in your actual scene and not just only in CG so it always helps and in the end this is the final result So thank you so much for watching. I hope that all made sense. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And if you want to make a scene like that, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I make a lot of tutorials on stuff like that. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Toodaloo.